So if I were to go around over here and take a brush right here and then go around and take this texture and then this draw around, then I draw out the texture right here. Let me just go around and then select out a bigger brush and increase out the size of the brush right here, just like this. And let me just go around and draw out. And what happens is that you can see the texture right here. But the texture has certain size. And if you want to change around the size, you can go around and take the contour editor right here. Click and hold and you can see that edit gradient and texture is an option. So once you do that, you can click and there you go. You got the texture right here, as you can see. So wh what you can do is you can go around and resize this out and then move this around however you like. So I'm just going to go around and here you can see that I can click and drag around to move out the texture. And this here has uh, a texture right here, as you can see. So this is a different brushstroke and this is a different brushstrokes. So depending on the brushstrokes, the uh, texture right here is different. So I'm just going to go around and delete this. And let me just go around and draw a single brushstroke right here, just like this. And then I'm going to go around and see the texture right here. So in order to work around with the texture, you can click on the ed edit gradient and texture tool right here. And you can go around and click and drag this. And you can see that you can rearrange out the texture right here. You can click and drag out right here, just like this from the top. You can resize this and you can see that you can change around the texture size over here as well. You can go around and click and you can resize this as you can see right here and rearrange out the texture over here as well. If you want to rotate out the texture over here on the side, you can see the texture right here. You can rotate this out as well and you can see that that rotates out the texture according to how you like it right here. You can rotate it out right here and turn it vertical and so forth. And you can see that the texture actually repeats as well. So you can go around, move this and there you go. That is how you can go around and edit out textures as you want. Besides textures, you can also go around and edit out gradients. So let me just go around and press the plus button right here. And then um, I'm just going to go around and create a new gradient right over here. So I'm just going to go around and then I'm going to, uh, let's say, create a new color swatch right here. And I'm going to go around and then edit this. So let me just go around over here and then edit out the swatch that I have. So I'm just going to go around and then double click on the color. And then I'm going to uh, create a new gradient. So that's going to go around onto gradient and create out the gradient right here, just like this, and then create a new color swatch out of this. So I'm going to go to my fill tool and then fill this out. And you can see the gradient right here. And just like with the texture, you can go around onto the same edit gradient and texture tool right here. And once you select, you can see the gradient right here. So you can move this here, left and right, just like this, as you can see and everything gets updated just like this. You can go around and resize out the texture right here and you can click on this to uh, rotate around the texture of, uh, that is the gradient over here as well, just like this. So uh, if I were to go around over here and then let's say, for example, I'm going to go around and then uh, uh, create, let's say, for example, a radial gradient over here, just like this. And then I'm going to close it. I'm going to press plus button and I'm just going to go around and then uh, let's say apply this. So I'm going to take my paint bucket tool, uh, tool and apply and this is what you have. So if I were to go around onto uh, the editing, you can see that now you have more like a radial editor. So you can go around, resize this and there you go. That that That's how you can go around and edit this. You can go around and let's say you can push this, you can drag this out wherever you want right here. You can rotate this around right here just like this and place it wherever you want and there you go. That is the gradient that you have. And that is how you can work around with um, uh, gr the gradient and texture editing inside of Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.